Hello again for part 2 of our patching request tutorial. And so in the last video we went through drawing the steps, drawing the parts. We have the torso, the upper arm, the lower arm and the hand. Right? I'll start with my light table again. So these are my parts. And so the next step in doing the patching is you have to basically rearrange your layers. Right? So in rearranging your layers, you set the stage for where your patch will be. Now, in my previous videos, you see that my lower arm is usually my where my patch would be, become. A copy of the lower arm. So, we'll go to the network, which is a lot easier to look at. So just drop this and just spread these out. That way we know what's going on here. So arm, lower arm, upper arm. So picture this. I don't know if all of you might ask, understand this analogy, but I kind of look at patching as using a sandwich. So for this one though, because the lower arm is going to be the the uh, we're going to have a copy of the lower arm to be the patch. You can basically consider that the lower arm is like a slice of bread. And the upper arm and the hand could probably be your meat and lettuce, I guess, or a tomato. So basically what I want to do is sandwich or upper arm and or hand between two slices of lower arm. So that's why it kind of works. Only that the top one will have the crust cut off. <laughs> Maybe that might make sense. Or crust is the lines. So here we go. I want to make sure that my lower arm is the lowest. So I'm moving this over here. Oh, I still need to fix this. So it's kind of like. So as you can see, my hand is on top of my upper arm. I'll just fix this quickly. Just refill it so it becomes one. And let me just look through all these quickly. And I'm no arm. Well, join one. Just need to fix this one too. Okay. All right. So I think my brother is on his way. All right. So hopefully everything is in in order now. All right. So let's continue. No, that wasn't my brother. That was the lab tech. His name's Graham. Anyways, so we set the stage for our patch. So you notice that my sandwich, don't be fooled by where it is right here. I just do that for the sake of the hierarchy. 
and it's actually on less it's on the it's on a lower layer so anything that's going towards the right in the composite is on a lower layer so you want to take that into note anything that is in the composite that goes towards the right is on a lower layer to the left is a higher layer so right now my hand is on top as you can see so to create a patch from the lower arm just watch this step real carefully you have your drawings so your lower arm goes like this we want to make a we want to make the lower arm a patch but we need to set a stage for the original because we need two kinds of drawings we need your original which is this with the outline outside um behind and you have one the one with a little less outline which is where you probably cut it off up to this point because you want it to seem as though it's one straight drawing going through for both the hand and the upper arm so let's do that we're going to go to our lower arm drawing so this is our lower arm and we want to copy all of this now in previous videos you might have noticed the whole convert to brush but what I did know basically I'm trying to go as quickly as possible I just always is now become a practice of mine just to convert everything to a brush so that we can go through patching really quickly so copy all of this and you come to your art layers so now we're going to go to the overlay art and overlay art is kind of like a top layer for the drawing itself so right click we'll paste the drawing object now this is where cleanup takes place. We want to eliminate the lines that we don't need. So I'm going to go to my paint bucket and choose close gap so I can actually draw some lines. I press K, show my lines, and I want to get rid of here, here, and down here. Then I choose my cutter tool, Put this down. Hmm. Gonna choose this one, click on it, delete, and come up to this one, click that one, press delete. And so I come to my camera view and it still looks the same because we're reading all the art layers. But when we make the copy of the lower arm, so right click, copy, and paste, we're going to reattach that one except that this new patch one. Is going to go up the front. So let's rename this. Oh, so, um, patch. Press close. And now we have our patch. But I have not yet attached it. So I'm going to attach it now. So like I was saying, you want the patch. Patches usually go in front of, well, any drawings that it's going to patch over. It's to cover the lines, as I said. So pretend now this is the new slice of bread, except you cut off the crust. But we have not done the cutting of the crust yet. We've done that for this one. So what you're asking to do is go inside your lower arm patch. Again. We have the drawing tab. You want to say read overlay art you're going to basically uncheck everything else close and so take off k it will look something like this so i could look on this thumbnail of mine you might not see yourself but you'll notice that the black lines on the tips are gone because that's the only thing that's being read to the com fed into the composite. As for my lower arm, the black part is still there. Now this helps when I want to rotate my character in terms of rigging so that I'll still have a line behind in case my hand bends further than a certain angle. So now we'll do the rigging part. And then you can see it in action. So this is how you patch. Second video has been the real reason why we're here. So we have our patch. We have 
or hand or torso and we have our lower arm but we're not done yet because I still want to patch with the torso so in the next video I do the torso and then we do the hierarchy or rather we could just do the hierarchy now so let's do that so with the patch the patch is always going to be a child of what it's kind of copying so lower arm patch even though our lower arm is a drawing and I usually say we basically make pegs for our drawings since the patch isn't going to be used for anything else but to cover the lower arm wherever the lower arm moves the patch will go and we also want to make sure that all our layers do not move with animate tool the only one we have now to fix is the torso and you'll notice there's a plus beside it whenever you eliminate that feature in the torso so advanced and we're using animation tool here's a cool thing you can watch in your um, look out for in your preferences well I'm using actually using animate pro tool right now not harmony but it still has the same thing you can go to your preferences and if you want to turn off the whole starting out with the anime using animation tools you just go to your advanced tab in your preferences and you'll notice you have your options coming down I have unchecked my element module anime using animation tools default value so I turn that off so whenever I create a new drawing my new drawing will not have this the reason why I torso had it was because it was the first drawing there so anything after that basically you can expect that you won't have to deal with the whole anime using animation tools so this is my timeline now I put everything in the right place and now I add my pigs so let's put this underneath here my torso is behind that and so let's add some pigs so I actually want to add pigs to my lower arm my, my upper arm my hand and my torso so I'll just click on those and this is a shortcut I learned last night from one of my students you can actually select these and then click on the add peg button and it will create a peg for each one of your drawings well the ones you selected at least so now I set my rotation points seeing as we are going to be rotating and I'll turn on the safe area so you can note something your rotation points or your advanced animation tool points they usually start in the center of your camera so I click on a peg and I go on anime using advanced tools the tools you notice it always starts in the center of the camera so my upper arm will probably be around here roughly I'll just check this out about there lower arm and and torso well torso will probably be at the bottom of it out here but so now we have to set the hierarchy of this and then we'll be on our way so my same for the hand, that you've probably been used to. So hand to lower arm, lower arm to upper arm. So we have this in charge of these two, this in charge of those two, and the hand just by itself. So the torso will be in charge of the upper arm because whenever you rotate your body, your hand usually follows. So this is the hierarchy. We're going to get into cleaning up the torso. So we make almost a pseudo patch, if you will, for that. So hopefully you've been paying attention. Hope you learned something. You can always scroll back through the video if you miss something out or you want to understand something. And on to the next tutorial. Take care. Mm-hmm. <laughs>